Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial. In this video, we're going to create the image that you see here. And we start from the ground. So let's get started. Deleting everything and adding a plane. So this plane is going to be the base of our uh, jungle or forest, however we want to call it. So uh, to do that, we're going to scale it on the Y quite a bit and then scale on the X quite a bit. So we're going to have this piece of plane that's going to be modeled to create um, a non-regular like um, wavy kind of ground. So to do so, we're going to edit mode and then with control R, we're going to create some loop cuts, a large number so that we can model with details. And then we do also uh, on this other axis. And then now we can start tweaking it by taking one of the vertices and then moving it up and down. But you see what happens if we just take a vertex up and down. We need to enable this tool here, which is called proportional editing. You can click on it or you can just hit the O button on your keyboard. By enabling it, you'll be able to move a vertex and also all the other vertices on the in the proximity of the selected one. Uh, and with the mouse wheel, we can uh, make the selection bigger so that we can move things around in a more organic way and you know everything moves together. So the first thing they wanna do, you wanna go in uh, uh, the edge selection and then selecting the center of it by selecting the first and then control click on the last one and then G to grab and then Z to grab it on the Z axis uh, with the proportional editing enabled you can move it up and down so we can create some sort of you know inverse cliff over here okay so this is the very beginning we're gonna uh, put the camera somewhere here and we're gonna take a look at what happens to our uh, ground. Um, another thing that we wanna do, we wanna uh, right click and shade smooth this ground. We can scale it on the X some more and then place the camera right at this point. So we don't have a camera yet, so shift A and camera. And now we have a camera and then we wanna uh, align the camera to our current view. So we do control, alt and zero and the camera uh, aligns to our view and then hit N on the right panel and on the view tab, we click on camera to view so that whatever we uh, do with our view, the camera the camera is gonna be aligned. So we're gonna place the camera, the camera here and then I'm gonna split the screen in two so that I can see what happened in the camera while tweaking freely my ground uh, on this side. Before we start tweaking, uh, we want to add a material to this uh, ground. So I'm going to go in material view and then add a material that I already uh, created that is called uh, ground over here. And you can see that has some stony ground. If we go in render mode, um, not in Eevee, but in cycles. Let me also enable the GPU and give some uh, light to my word. You can see that um, it's gonna kind of look like a, uh, a ground of some sort of um, canyon or desert or uh, whatever brown uh, forest somewhere in the world, okay? Uh, another important thing uh, we wanna add later, uh, an HDRI so that we can see um, not only the sky in front of us and on top of us, but we can also have a more natural um, lighting in our scene. Okay, now with our material applied uh, and our camera in place, we're gonna start tweaking on this side of the screen, uh, our ground. So let's tap into edit mode and then let's click on the uh, vertex select. And then at this point we, we can start moving things around with our, um, uh, with our mouse or uh, with our keyboard. It depends how you wanna um, edit it. For instance, if you just grab one uh, vertex you can do like G for grab on the Z axis and then you like point two and then it moves up or you can just go it with the, with your mouse okay so I'm gonna go in material view over here uh, and and I start making this um, you know wavy like it is a like a real 
like a real natural landscape, which of course is not uh, as geometrical, but it's very, uh, as you can imagine, you know, wavy and irregular uh, with bumps and dumps somewhere. Okay, let's go like this. Okay. Also, we can move it on the on the y-axis and on the x-axis as well. It depends what you want to do. It depends how irregular you want to create. You are completely free to do uh, whatever action, whatever shape you want. Uh, and that looks pretty wavy. Uh, that's fine for me. Uh, remember that, uh, you know, the more you subdivide uh, this ground, the more uh, detailed is going to be mm, your uh, your model, your model of the ground. So at this point, we're going to add vegetation. So we want to add trees and grass and plants and stuff like that. So I use a tool called Sequoia. So if you click on the end button here, you install this add-on and it's going to give you um, um, a few buttons here but the most important thing is the trees and grass selection that is included in this add-on so i'm gonna uh, grab some trees like uh let me see some um, mm, banana trees yeah let's start with the banana trees so i select it and then with the ground selected i do add element and you can see that i already have some banana trees now i want to make sure that uh this trees look small compared to the cliff so that uh, it looks like a lot of uh, trees and it looks like a large space you know so this is so small compared to the to the place so uh it looks like a giant giant canyon and now uh I, once i trick the size i can trick the number and i can add as many as i want uh at this point they, are, they all look the same so i'm gonna do some random size here to randomize the size some random rotation um some random orientation just tweak a little bit this one otherwise they're gonna go down on the floor just to create some sort of the different um you know position and create some randomness and then i can go in the extra controls and then display even more banana trees and at this point i can go crazy with the randomness variations that i have available here and here you can see that i can really go uh, crazy with this okay i just make sure that display amount is equal to render amount and i can go to the next layer and add some more stuff uh, i can add some grass uh, let me see what is this grass as you can see it's coming um, let me put some more there you go okay the size is going to be definitely smaller like this and at this point i want to use this multiplier here that gives me a lot, a lot of grass. I think the size of this grass must be just small, smaller. And then I'm gonna, I don't wanna load too much my computer, my CPU. So I'm gonna keep 19 or probably 20, but I wanna um, have much more grass in the render. So I'm gonna go to 100 while this multiplier here in my display is gonna go to 20. And then even here, I'm gonna go random size, random orientation, uh, sorry, random rotation, and just a little bit of random orientation. Um, you know, the size is gonna be, again, pretty small. Actually, uh, I wanna go even crazier with 150, and so that I have room to add some more stuff. So let's add some rocks. Um, let's do some rock forest and add this element. Uh, let's see what it is. Oh, there we go, the rocks, and then I go, with a lot a lot of rocks and i'm gonna just create some sort of uh, differentiated ground all around the scene i'm gonna go random size around the rotation i'm gonna add some more as you can see we have a lot of rocks coming along here i'm gonna make them really really small uh, just to create some more uh different kind of feeling um i'm gonna add some rock volcanic and add them let me see what they are there they are i'm gonna make them a large number and then make them small and then random orientation and random size okay last thing i want to add some trees i'm gonna put this beach over here 
and then adding and then making it making it very small so that it looks like the tree compared to the the cliff is it's very small and then I'm gonna increase the number of trees that I have in my scene I'm gonna make it smaller like seriously smaller but not smaller than the banana trees and then again random size random rotation and a little bit of random orientation display amount let's go for like four five okay and let's randomize a little bit all this okay so we are having some numerous tree and you can see from uh, the solid mode that <laughs> our scene is pretty it's pretty full now um, okay I think uh, we have kind of an idea what's going on in our scene it's really dense uh, but as you can see uh, it literally took us like nothing to create all this like really really uh, dense uh, vegetation in our scene um, you know sometimes can happen since you know you can tweak whatever parameter you want uh, with the, with this tool happens that you know probably the the leaves are in low poly uh, you can go to mm, the banana there you go the banana object here and add um, some like subdivision surface so that you know it looks smoother uh, when when rendering you know, I can give some smoothness to the to the shapes, but uh, honestly, it's already uh, good enough for me. Um, at this point, I want to add the HDRI and launch the render and see what we have here. Okay, now that we have our HDRI, uh, I do just want to see the sky here and not what's included. Uh, you know, I can see probably houses and buildings. So I just want to use the light and the sky of this HDRI. So I'm going to rotate it a little bit on the y uh, axis here axis um you know how i did it it's just like if you have the node wrangler it's gonna really help you when you select the texture and then you control t and it's gonna give you this uh, other couple of um oops i moved the camera a couple of options here uh, the mapping and the texture coordinates i just want to rotate a little bit the hdri uh, on the y axis so probably just um 10 degrees or something there we go now you have just the sky just the sky over there and then we are ready to launch our render and see uh, the result of our quick work that we've done on this landscape so before we launch the render uh, there is one thing that um, you have to remember if you use uh, the sequoia add-on you want to enable the render mode here and make sure that all the this grayed out object which are the particle system uh, instance objects created by Sequoia are not visible in render otherwise you're gonna have the instance object visible you just want uh, this which is basically the plane this is the one that you want in render you don't want those guys here and now um, I leave it to you uh, with uh, with the final render and please let me know in the comments below uh, what do you think about this render and what do you think about uh, this workflow of course is helped by an add-on uh, but why not I mean if you have to create things quickly I think this add-on really uh, you know gives you uh, the chance to create it quickly and ef efficiently uh, and uh, actually looks pretty good uh, let's see the final render and thanks everybody for watching and see you in the next video